What's going on, JW Faction? My name is Josh Williamson. So for this whole video recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate peanut butter cake. Really easy to make, kind of time consuming, but it's worth it because this is one of the, my favorite cakes I've ever made. So let's get started. Search for recipe off. Now, first of all, before we get started, if you remember my chocolate cake video from the past, about a year ago, uh, this is actually the same batter for it, only I'm making one slight adjustment to it. But anyways, in this bowl, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add two cups of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a tablespoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of espresso powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one cup of mini chocolate chips. Then you just want to whisk all those ingredients together. After that's mixed in, we're going to add two eggs, one cup of milk, half a cup of oil, I'm using vegetable oil, and about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then after that, you just want to mix all these ingredients together until they're combined. Then finally, add one cup of very hot water. Now, I like to add a little bit at a time just to make it easier to mix and it doesn't splash out of the bowl. And I do it as I'm mixing. But anyways, after you get it all in, just mix it in until it's well combined. Next, I have two 9-inch baking pans that I've lined with parchment paper, and before that, I grease them with some baking spray. But anyways, what we're going to do now is get as even of an amount of batter as we can into both of the pans. Then you want to put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes or until you insert a toothpick in one of them and it comes out clean. This is what the cakes should look like when they're done baking. Now what I'm going to do now is let them sit in the pan for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'm going to take them out and put them on a wire rack to cool completely. You want them to cool completely before you do anything else with them. And in the meantime, we're going to get started on our peanut butter buttercream. Now we're going to get started on our peanut butter buttercream. Now, if you remember the peanut butter cake recipe I've done in the past, this is the same buttercream. In the stand mixer, I have two cups of softened butter. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of smooth peanut butter and about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And beat this together until it's well combined and it forms a whipped and pale consistency. Now that's done, what you want to do now is finally add four cups of powdered sugar and mix it in. Now it's time to buttercream up our cakes. Now I got one of the cakes on the bottom of my cake carrier and I'm going to take some of the buttercream, put it on there, Spread it all over the top, then put the other cake on top, a lot more of the buttercream, spread it all over the top and all over the sides. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes because there's one more step that I'm going to do. I'm going to make a chocolate ganache to top the entire cake with after it's done chilling. In this bowl, I have 8 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. To that, I'm going to add 1 cup of heavy whipping cream. Then I'm going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds, give it a stir, and repeat that process until the chocolate is melted and combined with the cream. After that's done, what you want to do is put this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, just to make sure it thickens up a little bit to where, you know, it's a pourable but still thick consistency. And for the final step, after the cake is chilled and the ganache is chilled, I'm going to take that ganache and I'm going to pour it, majority, majority of it, in the middle. Sorry, I can't talk right now. And I'm also going to spread it just across the top and let it kind of have a dripping effect down the sides. You'll see what it looks like later. Then I'm just going to put this back in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes just for the ganache to harden up. Then I'll come back, cut a slice off, and show it off for presentation. Alright, our chocolate peanut butter cake is done. Like I said, it was really easy and simple to make. It was time consuming, but in the end, it's worth it because this is a fantastic cake. It's one of my favorite cakes ever made and I really urge you to try it out. But if you do, leave in the comment section down below and tell me what you thought, whether you liked it or you hated it. And if you liked this video, thumb up, hate so you thumb it down, and be sure to subscribe to become a member of the GW faction on a jury 10,000 subscribers. See you later.